As an iPhone user, you probably do the same things repeatedly. Using iPhone shortcuts, most routine daily tasks that require more than a few clicks can be cleverly automated. Using your iPhone less by automating routine tasks can free up time for more productive pursuits. Let's have a deep look at 10 handy iPhone shortcuts to automate everyday tasks. Three birds with one iPhone shortcut. Create shortcuts on your iPhone and automate complex processes with Apple's Shortcuts Automation Program. Actions that take place automatically once the shortcut triggers. To put it plainly, Shortcuts allows you to program your iPhone to do things for you. Launching a shortcut can be done in four different ways. From within the Shortcuts app itself, via the Shortcuts widget, with a custom Siri phrase, or via the Share sheet. Create a quick launch command that activates Do Not Disturb on your iPhone and plays your favorite playlist, for instance. You can activate this shortcut by saying Let's Drive to Siri the next time you get in your car. Another option is to use the shortcuts widget and activate the Let's Drive shortcut there. Both times you were successful without resorting to the control center or the music app. The Shortcuts app also allows you to import previously created shortcuts. Thankfully, a community of like-minded users shares the best iPhone shortcuts. Any of the following iPhone automation can be imported into the Shortcuts app with a simple download and import. Number 10. Set multiple alarms at once. Suppose you need multiple alarms to wake up each day. In that case, it makes sense to create a shortcut that sets multiple alarms simultaneously to save time. When you use the shortcut for multiple alarms, the toggle alarm action will first enable an existing alarm before performing the create alarm action. This is because the create alarm action depends on an existing alarm's status. After downloading the multiple alarms shortcut, you will have the ability to modify the times so that they correspond with your requirements. Number 9. Start a timer. Timers are useful for a variety of tasks that are performed on a daily basis, including, but not limited to, doing laundry, brewing coffee, and boiling pasta, among other things. If you find yourself drinking multiple cups of coffee on a daily basis, you may find it helpful to make use of this coffee-related shortcut, which can be triggered from the shortcuts widget or by Siri. If this is the case, then taking advantage of this shortcut will be to your advantage. Install the French Press Timer app on your iOS device, then tell Siri to activate it by saying French Press. As a result, you will be able to carry out other responsibilities during the time it takes for the coffee to brew. Number 8. Play a playlist. You most likely have different playlists prepared for different activities, such as driving, working out, taking a shower, or simply unwinding at the end of your day. You can access the Play Playlist shortcut in the Shortcuts library on your iPhone. This automation is one of the most fundamental yet cool features of the iPhone. Simply select a playlist from the available options and then start playing the songs you want to hear. You can edit the shortcut by tapping it and then next to the play playlist action, you'll see an arrow button. Tapping this arrow button will bring up the options to choose either repeat or shuffle. In the event that it is required, you have the option of adding a Siri command to activate it verbally. This is one of the most useful shortcuts for the iPhone, especially if you're a music enthusiast. Number 7. Disable Wi-Fi completely. If you disable Wi-Fi via the control center, the connection will not immediately be severed in its entirety. It will automatically restart at 5 in the morning the following morning, which can be very annoying depending on your schedule. If you use this keyboard shortcut on your iPhone, the Wi-Fi function will be turned off entirely in the settings. 
This will ensure that you are disconnected from the internet and that you will not be disrupted by any incoming messages while you are attempting to concentrate at work or go to sleep at night. Number six, send a predetermined message. By utilizing the send message function found in the shortcuts section of the messages app, you're able to send a message that has been prepared to one or more contacts. After adding the send message action, add the recipients and text for the message. Simply deactivating the show when run toggle will make this operation take place in the background. If you send the same text message to the same people on your iPhone on a regular basis, you can save a significant amount of time by using this shortcut on your iPhone. Simply add a Siri command to make use of this shortcut without ever having to touch your iPhone. Number five, add a song to the playlist. When you're searching for great music on Apple Music, it usually takes quite a few taps on the screen before you can add a track to one of your favorite playlists. On the other hand, by making use of a shortcut on your iPhone, you can make life a little bit simpler for yourself. You can use this keyboard shortcut to add any other song to the end of the playlist that is currently selected, and it will do so without pausing the currently playing track. Number four, calculate a tip. Calculate Tip illustrates how helpful the Shortcuts app can be in a variety of situations. This shortcut, which is one of the best automation available for the iPhone, can be used in place of a Tip Calculator app or a bit of back of the napkin math, making it possible to perform common calculations more quickly and easily while out in public. Calculating the appropriate tip for your server can help you avoid any awkward situations that may arise. After downloading the Calculate Tip shortcut that's customized to meet your requirements, you're able to easily calculate the tip. Number three, setting up a customized Do Not Disturb mode. Do Not Disturb can be turned on in an iPhone in a variety of different ways, each of which is determined by the version of iOS that's currently being used by the device. Among the methods is the option to activate the feature for a predetermined amount of time, such as one hour or an entire day. Nevertheless, if you wanted to set it for only 15 minutes or an hour and a half, you can use this iPhone shortcut instead of going through the trouble of manually turning it off or going to the trouble of creating a focus schedule if you wanted to set it for only those amounts of time rather than manually turning it off or creating a focus schedule. Number two, start a podcast with sleep timer. If you have the practice of listening to podcasts before going to bed, then you can take advantage of a helpful shortcut that was built using Overcast, which is one of the most popular podcast applications for the iPhone. This shortcut, when activated, will automatically resume the most recent episode you were watching and will put the sleep timer that you most recently used into effect. When you're in bed, drowsy, and don't feel like looking at your screen to find the podcast episode you were most recently listening to, this shortcut is going to come very handy. However, you should be aware that it will only function if you have the Overcast installed on your iPhone. Number one, get ready for bed. Depending on how you normally spend your evenings, you should construct this shortcut on your own. When you get ready for bed, you might perform any or all of the following activities. Activate the mode that says do not disturb and put an end to your cellular and Wi-Fi connections. Turn off your smart lights, start playing soothing music, begin listening to a podcast, or try something completely different. You are now able to incorporate the aforementioned items into a single shortcut. Make a new shortcut on your home screen and then search for the actions listed above, such as Wi-Fi, Do Not Disturb, and so on. Then you should tell Siri to say something like, Good night. Simply tell Siri, Good night, the next time you are getting ready for bed and watch as it goes through each of the shortcuts on your iPhone one at a time. What do you think of the video? 
let us know about your favorite part of the video in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribe. I'll personally reply to your comment. See you next time. Thanks for watching.